Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Vesperon, on an issue that they came across while going through the Introduction to Maya 2011 course. Okay, so here I have a scene from the Introduction to Maya 2011 course. And before we begin, let's go ahead and render this out to see uh, what the issue is. Now, as we can see, uh, there's multiple shadows down here on the ground. Now we have a use background on uh, this plane here. Now, that particular issue doesn't have anything really to do with the use background shader. So I'm going to save this render off. Let's take a look at how this scene is set up. So if we hop into the hyper shade here, we can see that there's multiple lights that are casting light into the scene. Now, if we double click on one of these lights, we can open up the attribute editor. And if we look under shadows, let's look under the ray trace shadows, uh, we can see that, for example, this light is using shadows, as is this light, um, and so on and so forth. So they all have shadows turned on. So each of these lights are casting a different shadow into our scene. Now, it's okay to have these lights casting separate shadows, uh, but we'll probably want to have one light that is the primary shadow caster, and then on the other lights, we can get some nice soft shadows uh, so we don't have this effect of multiple shadows that we're getting here in our render, but instead we're, we get some nice subtle secondary shadows uh, to create a more realistic effect. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use this directional light here the directional light 13 as the primary light caster because this is casting uh, pure white whereas these other guys are casting various uh, colors. So let's begin by first um, taking a look at what it will look like if we have no shadows and that way we, we can turn them on and see what the difference for each of these is as we turn them on. So I'm going to come in and turn off the ray trace shadows for each of these lights. I'm just going through and selecting each of the directional lights and then turning off the use ray trace shadows in the attribute editor here. A couple more. Okay, so now that we have all those turned off, we can see that uh, we definitely don't have any shadows down here on the ground anymore. So this is what it looked like before. We have these multiple shadows here. And now with the shadows turned off, we don't have anything. Okay, so I'm going to save this render. And uh, let's fo start with this guy here since we have this one selected. If we turn on the ray trace shadows for just this one, we can see the shadow that this one directional light is casting into our scene. So this was before with no directional or with no shadows. And then with just this one uh, directional light, with the ray trace shadows. Now we can use this light angle attribute here in order to help soften the edges of this shadow. Okay, so let's take this up to say something like 10. And right away we can definitely see a difference in the shadow that's on the ground. So this was before with the light angle of zero and this is with the light angle of 10. Now it almost looks like the shadow has disappeared, uh, but if we compare this so this is with the light angle of 10, and this is what it looked like with no shadows. We can see a very subtle shadow uh, right in here that's being cast onto the ground. So if we do this for the rest of our directional lights, by changing the light angle to help soften the shadows, and then keeping one, um, I'm going to use this directional light 13, as the main uh, shadow caster with a sharper shadow um, that will really help to add some subtlety to the shadows around the uh, one main shadow. Okay, so let's come into our directional lights here. Let's turn these on and bump up the light angle on each of these. I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to set them all at 10. That way uh, they're all even since we knew that that created a nice subtle effect on one of the directional lights. We can do that for the rest of these as well. Just 
come through. Um, now the light angle attribute is actually only available on the directional light. Um, there are other attributes to help soften the other light types, but as we're dealing with directional lights here, we're we'll using the light angle. Now on this uh, directional light 13, I'll turn on the shadow, but I'll leave the light angle at zero. So that way that will keep that the shadow coming from this guy as a nice uh, hard shadow. Okay, so let's uh, open up our render here. All right, great. We can see uh, we're getting the nice crisp shadow from one of our directional lights. And from the others, if we look closely in here, we're getting some nice subtle shadows. So uh, this is what it looked like with no shadows. And watch this area here in the center with our new render with the nice subtle shadows there to complement the uh, crisp shadow. So that's a look at how we can fix an issue where we're getting multiple shadows by adjusting the light angle on the directional lights to soften out a majority of those shadows. To continue with this training, check out the Introduction to Maya 2011 course.